one. I'm here to tell you the gospel. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you about the most important thing in your life, about Jesus Christ. Everyone thinks that if you are a good person, if you are a good person, when you die, God is going to put it on a scale of good things and bad things. That's a, that's a lie. That's a complete lie. Redemption has nothing to do with being good. Redemption has nothing to do with being bad. No matter what you've done, no matter what you've done, the worst of sins, if you stole something, if you killed someone, if you had an abortion, you can come to Jesus. He can give you peace. He can redeem you from the feeling of guilt. He can cleanse your soul. He can give you forgiveness. And on the other hand, if you think you are such a good person, you've never done anything bad, I'm here to tell you, this is not going to save you. It's not going to get you through to heaven. Being good has nothing to do with going to heaven because God made his way very clear. God made it very clear. There's only one way. There's only one road to heaven. And the name and the road has got a name. The name is Jesus Christ. Don't fool yourself that your own goodness is going to help you. Don't fool yourself that if you're living a nice, quiet life that's going to get you through to heaven, it's not going to do it. You're destined for hell. You're destined for a complete separation, a total separation from God. And I'm here to tell you that redemption and salvation is a function of your heart and a function of your decision. It depends on your decision. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came to this world as the one and only Son of God, and He died for your sins. He became a human. He became a human, and He died an innocent, innocent man. He died so you can have a free life, so you can be free. You can be free from any burden, any sin. I'm a born again Christian. I got saved 10 years ago. And I'm here to tell you how I got saved. 10 years ago, I was chasing happiness. I was chasing everything. I thought if I finish a great degree, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to achieve something worthwhile. And then, then I thought if I get a good job, then I'm going to be happy. Then I thought if I'm going to have a great guy, then I'm going to be happy. But I was never happy. Inside of me, I was never happy. I was always empty. I was always looking for something. And I know, I know that you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about emptiness that drilling sense of emptiness inside you. It's an emptiness that nothing can satisfy. No plasma TV. No holidays abroad. Because there comes a day when you wake up and you ask yourself, what is it all for? What is it all for? What's the meaning of this life? Well, I tell you what's the meaning. The meaning is to look for the truth. And Jesus Christ, he used those words of himself. He is the truth. He's the only truth. So, if you want a new life, if you want a breakthrough in your life, if you want to experience happiness, the type of happiness that really cannot be accessed through anything, that you can buy. None of human experiences can give you that happiness, that fulfillment. All 
only, your only way to, to complete happiness, to satisfaction, is through Jesus Christ. No matter what you've done, if you think you, you've done some bad things, if you think you've done some bad things, it doesn't matter because you can bring all of it to God. Because there isn't such a bad sin that cannot be cleansed. And you know what? None of your good deeds, even the best, the best thing that you can do for humanity, that's not going to help you. It's not going to save you. It's not going to save you. It's not going to bring you any closer to God. The only thing that unites you with God is reconciliation. Reconciliation starts with redemption. It starts with repentance. Repent, repentance of your heart. It's acknowledging that you are a sinner. It's acknowledging that you, that you don't deserve to go to heaven. It's actually acknowledging that none of your good deeds can actually make you good enough. It's acknowledging that in your heart. And the second thing is declaring Jesus Christ, your Lord. It's saying in your, with your, it's believing in your heart and saying with your lips that you believe that Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Believing in it, believing and declaring it with your mouth is the key to salvation, is the road to salvation. It's as easy as this. Salvation is as easy as this. It's as simple as your decision. If you want a prayer, if you want us to say the prayer with you, come over and we'll pray with you. Come over here and talk to us and we'll pray with you. We'll pray a prayer that opens your heart to the truth of Jesus Christ. Amen.